Hello and welcome back to Army Men Surge's Heroes. We are continuing our foray into the snow here. It's time to rescue Shrap from this tan base or camp, whatever it is. Immediately we are presented with a nice target to shoot at. I see a lot of guys on the minimap as well. So. Like always, strategy is to just take our time, approach the situation carefully, calmly, and to not die. Actually, this is definitely like a camp, a prison camp, not really a base. I think they called it a base though in the in the last level. Oh well. Okay. Yep. That's great. <laughs> Well, let's just go take out this guy right here. These are just regular guys, so I probably don't need to be so cautious with them. But I have a feeling that I'm in this level at least, unlike the last uh, guy I rescued, Thick. I will almost certainly have to escort. Again, well, I guess I'm not 100% certain because I don't really remember, but I probably have to escort. I want to bet that I do. I would have to escort Shrap out of here. So it's best to take it, take out these guys now. Even though if that's the case, there's going to be more guys like spawning anyways. Um, you know, less people I have to deal with. Oh, I didn't know I could go in here. Yeah, less guys I have to deal with on the way out of here, the better. Actually, I have a, a vague recollection of uh, the last time I did this level. Is this? Oh, a gray guy. Looks like I can let him out. I don't know what that <clears throat> what that does for me. It's not really. No, it's not an objective. But hey, I'll let him out because I'm a nice guy. Oh, wait, he's gonna follow me around. Is he gonna like help me? Oh, maybe he will. Okay, let's actually check inside all these. Now, I know there's at least uh, some more soldiers in here. But now we got an ally. As long as him dying doesn't actually make me lose a level, then we're fine. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I can actually see these guys on the map, actually. They do look different <laughs> than the tan guys. I thought they were just tans, but. On closer inspection, they are obviously gray. Oh Jesus! Thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I think my own <laughs> my own guy just shot me in the back. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't have brought these guys along. Probably just gonna blow my cover and get me into more trouble. Uh, don't quite need that health yet. Well, I might as well get them all out anyways. Okay, maybe we just pull a lever. There we go. I don't know what kind of prison would lock up its prisoners with their guns, but who am I to judge? Okay, if I can just... There we go. Nope. <laughs> nope, we're, we're almost there. Okay, there's two doors. Go first try that time. Uh oh. Wait, what does that mean? Does that mean I fail? Why can't I hit this guy that's like right in front of me? Okay, I set off an alarm. As long as it doesn't mean I, I failed the mission, I'm not really worried about it. Probably just means more soldiers like spawn in from somewhere or something. But that's not really a problem for me. Where did my other buddies go? Well, they just. There's two of them. Did one of them die already? Yeah, well. You win some, you lose some. They're going off to do something. There's a guy up there. Was a guy up there. Okay. Can I go inside these? What kind of 
curious. It's hard to tell like what kind of doors open and what doors don't open <laughs> in this game. Since everything just looks like a flat texture. Alright, well there's nothing else I can really do here. one of them, but I guess he died. Oh, what happened to the ground? Oh, I think I just trapped my guys. Oh, they're right there. feeling that I'm going to be setting off that alarm quite a few times. <laughs> okay, and we'll just miss. Whatever. Oh, I got them. Maybe they're not so useless after all. But am I down to one already? <laughs> Where'd the other one go? Oh, there he is. He's outside. They pretty much have, like, regular enemy AI. Really that great. And they also don't really have a very high rate of fire. So the odds of them. Oh, come on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, obviously, setting off the alarm just causes guys to come out. And it seems like it's only the guys in the tower when they spot you, the alarm goes off. Okay, here's a helipad, so. Kinda looks like. I'm willing to bet that once I rescue Shrap, I have to come back to the helipad. That would make the most sense. So I don't have to quite go all the way back to the beginning, but I do have to go through quite a lot of sections of this camp, I guess. I don't know what else to call them. Okay. But this one has been cleared out. Oh, look, they're actually just staying by the helipad. guys. I'll get them out and bring them to the helipad as well. I think I'm going to take out the tans here first. Oh, god damn it. Well, I already set off the alarm now, so... I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> All three of them did. They didn't even shoot at me. <laughs> Do you mind? I see somebody else. Right there. Okay, that appears to be everybody. Oh, maybe not. Now well, that appears to be everybody. Let's get these other gray guys. Sorry, one of your comrades already died, but nothing I could really do about it. Okay, let's maybe do that. So I have a feeling if I, I don't know if I really get anything for <laughs> for rescuing these guys though. Let me see. I just want to see if I bring them back to the help pad. Will they like stay over there? I think they will. Maybe the game will like add that objective after the fact. Like on the way back, I gotta rescue these guys. So maybe if I do it now, it'll save me the trouble of having to do it later. It's just a theory, but yeah. But I also hope <laughs> that doesn't mean because that one guy already died, I'll fail. <laughs> They're actually not staying at the helipad. Interesting. Interesting that these two did, but the other ones didn't. Maybe if I, like, run. Hmm. Well, I guess they're coming with me. Well, that answers that question. If they die, they die. Alright. 
you guys need to get out of the way. Please. I need to pull the I need to pull this the lever. Let's see if I can do it from here. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> Definitely a bit more of a nuisance than they are any actual help. Always there to stand in the way. All right, let's just get out of here. <laughs> get to the next section. I mean, so far, this map hasn't really had anything crazy. I haven't gotten to the end yet, so. Okay, they just ran through the door. One of them did. He ran straight through the wall. This one had some sense to stick around. And I don't even see him on the map anymore. Oh, there he is. He's still here. I, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, well. There he goes. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, I'm being shot at. Way to go, guys. Can I get somewhere? Can I get up this? What is stopping me from moving? Nothing in my way. <laughs> Alright. I cannot shoot this guy. Actually, let's go over here. If I can get up the tiny pile of snow. <laughs> okay, there's one. Probably best to get rid of those. I see a guy in the tower over there trying to snipe me. Oh. Didn't try hard enough. There's another guy here. There's somebody else. damage. <laughs> really, it's... I haven't picked up any health yet in this level. I don't think I have. So that's all the damage I've taken, just that little bit. Petrol. Alright, only one more section to go through before we get to our objective. Let's try and snipe these guys in the tower. The door is about to close any second. There it goes. Not quite fast enough. Let's get that other guy as well. Even though setting off the alarm isn't really that big of a deal, I'd still rather not do it if I can. There's a couple more gray guys in here. tan guy like right right in front of me maybe he's inside oh that's really the only place he could be but there he is there's a big gun that's the only gun I've picked up this whole <laughs> whole level companions, I guess. Oh, they're absolutely no help. They are my allies, so gotta rescue them. I was gonna make a joke there about, like, the French. <laughs> During World War II, absolutely no help, but they are our allies, so... I guess I gotta help him. 
What's this? A shotgun? No. I guess I did pick up a sniper rifle earlier. I've been using it this whole time. Here I'm going, going on about having not picked up any weapons. I haven't even used the shotgun once in this whole game. It's just not as good <laughs> as the regular gun. It's got a really slow rate of fire. Sure, it does a lot of damage, but most of the guys die in like one hit anyway, so what's the point? Um, there we go. Uh oh. Cutscene time. What in the world is that? <laughs> Something from the real world, obviously, but. What is this supposed to be? Like some kind of easy bake oven? Oh, what the hell? Oh. Turning soldiers into spiders. What the fuck? <laughs> Only of those things absolutely terrifying. These low poly spiders, man. this thing. What kind of device even is this? <laughs> Why does it turn guys into spiders? <laughs> I'm genuinely kind of curious. <laughs> uh, he's like the hippie. Oh, he's the surfer guy, huh? Uh, he's the mortar man of the group. Oh, I've taken a little bit of damage, see if I can get some health here. Gotta be health in one of these areas. Let's put this big machine gun to use too, since I got a lot of ammo for it. I don't think I've even used it at all. <laughs> this whole game. Okay, maybe there is no health. Maybe I can go inside this. Ah, there we go. I guess I'll pick up that shotgun too for no reason. All we gotta do... What the hell is that guy doing standing there? <laughs> All we gotta do is get to the... Little pad. One piece. Even though I killed everybody. That's fine, you can shoot me all he wants. Let's just shoot... Shrap. Also, why can I not hit him? Stay in there. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Okay. I actually really want some more health. I guess it's kind of a good thing I didn't pick up any health. <laughs> yeah, maybe if Shrap can just stay in there and I can get to the health pad, I could win the level. Don't know if that's gonna work. I'll try it. Oh, looks like he got out. Oh, never mind. That's just a box. Oh, Jesus! God, I'm tired of these shotgun guys. Give me a heart attack every time I do that. Good to go. <laughs> I open the door and I see the health and I get so relieved and immediately it's shattered. The feeling of relief is replaced with dread. Stress. Pure stress. Escort Shrap to the helipad, so I probably do have to get him to the helipad, but he is safe over there, so yeah, it's definitely best. It might take a little bit more time, but it's probably best if I just leave him back there <laughs> and clear these guys out. So I'm not too worried about myself dying, but I'd hate for him just to get sniped like poor Rift did. Alright, I don't know. Being shot, being shot. I don't know from where. Okay. Anybody 
else in this area? Doesn't seem like it. Guess I'll find out if I can get to the uh Oh, you know what? Shrap's actually like outside the map. I just realized he's not even in that area anymore. I hope I hope he's not like stuck. I can't get him at all. That would be awful. <laughs> Ugh. I mean I didn't even like choose. I guess I did kinda choose to leave him over there, but he kind of inadvertently got stuck behind that door, so if that, you know, if he got glitched out of the out of the map because of that. Oh, he's he's making his way over here. <laughs> oh, my tan buddies. All right, let's just get to that little pad. See what happens. Oh, damn it. Did I screw this up? <laughs> I think I might have screwed this up. Oh, I can see him. He's over here. He's over here on the map. But... Oh, God damn it, Shrap. Why did he have to glitch through the wall? I mean, if he can make it over there, there's hope, maybe, that he can get himself out. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is not uh, a <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> you know, I think I'm just gonna jump cut, I guess, and. Um, keep messing around with this off screen for a little while and see if anything changes. If not, I'm just gonna have to redo the whole level, I guess. I don't know. So I guess we'll see what happens. Okay, well, I found him a bit more exactly where he is. <laughs> he's right here, but he's not... I don't know if he's gonna be able to glitch his way through this wall. Let's, uh... Let's just move him along the side here. Okay. Pretty sure since he did get himself over there, there's gotta be a way to get him back, right? One would think. One would hope. <laughs> Maybe there's just like a certain sweet spot he's gonna try and run through. Maybe if I bring him back over to. I think I can't really get him around this corner at all. Unless maybe. Why can you not get up this the snow? Alright, maybe. Maybe I can get him to come this way. No, oh, he's just stuck. Ah, darn it. Wait, no, he moved, he moved. No, he didn't. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll just keep trying, Let's see if I can make anything happen. Okay, well, I've been walking around the base for about, I don't know, 10, 10 or 15 minutes or so, and he just now, like, popped back into the wall. <laughs> so he should be right over here, it looks like. Um, which is good, it means I don't have to replay the level, hopefully. Where are you? No! Oh. I see him, he's on the mini-map right here. But he's not... Is he inside this building? Oh. Yes, he is! He got himself into a jail cell that he just ran through. Okay, well, that was <laughs> quite an ordeal. At least, I'm happy that I don't have to replay the level. Jesus. I literally, like, went around the whole map. Like, back and forth. Like, twice. Kind of manipulating him to 
go along the wall hoping to find a place that uh, he'd be able to do so, and that didn't work, and then I went back over to the helipad, and he was like up in this like corner somewhere. And as soon as I got over to that helipad, I saw him like pop through on the map. I was actually like just about to give up <laughs> on this whole thing. But I figured I'd go over there and wait just a little bit to see if something would happen, but... Uh, well, something did. Where'd he go? Oh, God damn it. I don't want this to happen again. How did he get stuck behind the door? At least he's behind the door and not out of bounds. Well, that's what you get for playing a 20-year-old N64 game. <laughs> but even when it's not glitching out, it's very clunky. Where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. God, you're scaring me, man. I don't want to play this level anymore. <laughs> I just want to end it. Okay. Well, it all turned out alright in the end. Probably took me just about as much time messing around trying to get him back through the walls as it would have for me to quickly run through the level again. But, you know, I wasn't going to accept that kind of ending. <laughs> well, that 40 minutes. Should have been like 20 minutes. <laughs> That's okay. What is get a preview of the next level? Oh, we got another cutscene. Plastro with three pictures of himself in his office. there to know. You fight the Tans. The Tans are evil. They got super weapons. It looks like the next level is going to be Fort Plastro. Yep, Fort Plastro. Which is what we're going to take on next time. I heard this level being particularly long, so I guess we'll uh, have fun with that. So until then, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.